Hello class, this is Mr. Hardigan, uh, Earth Science teacher extraordinaire. I'm here with another video to help support students that are having difficulty accessing our simulations through an iPad or iPhone. Um, certainly try and use the websites if you can, but if you can't, that's what this video is for. So I'm just going to click through the website to give you access to these animations. Um, make sure as you're watching this video that you pause to read the sections because there are very short readings that you need to read in order to answer. So when I say pause, you should pause the video and read. You can also run the video back and replay the simulations as often as you want. I will play each one twice. Um, so here's our first one. Step three is the beginning of our worksheet and I'm going to click through. Um, make sure you pause so you can read this first section. Now that you have unpaused, you can see that we have here a simulation where one side on the left is our P waves and on the right are our S waves. So you're going to want to make sure you take note of the speed these waves move in um, and also what, what um, medium or states of matter they can move through because there's solid and liquid uh, being shown here. Also their shape. Do they look differently and how? All right, replay that as you need. I'm going to move forward. Again, make sure you pause here so you can read all three paragraphs. Excellent, so this is for step four. Um, we have here a simulation planet. This planet has a uh, earthquake starting at the very tippy top. Um, and then also we're going to have our P waves and S waves. P waves are going to be shown by this dark blue, S waves by the light blue. So we're going to have a starting point uh, earthquake here, and we're going to see the waves travel through. Now we should have just established what kinds of uh, matter these waves can move through, so we can assume what kind of material this is made out of just by the traveling of these waves. So let's see. Play it one more time. All right, you can replay that as many times as you like. Let's go on to step five. Um, again, make sure you pause so you can read this paragraph and this paragraph. All right, so this is our step five. Now that you've unpaused, um, we have another planet here. What you're going to want to take note of is that in the middle, something changes. And you'll see that change with the representation of these waves moving through the planet. So let's take a look and see what happens. Remember to take note of the kinds of media that S waves and P waves can travel through. It might give you a hint as to what's going on in the center. Play it one last time. All right, we'll move on. Step six, a new planet. Make sure you read this paragraph if you need to pause. And I'm going to play this again. Again, P waves, dark blue, S waves, light blue, earthquake at the top of the planet. What do we notice? What do we notice? Are P waves and S waves present? Is there any kind of uh, change we notice in the middle of the planet here? Maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Play one last time. All right, and play this back as you need. Okay, so this one is step seven. We have two planets, um, P waves and S waves, dark blue, light blue, earthquake at the top of the planet. And now we have this solid layer and a liquid center layer. So let's see what it looks like in this planet. Planet on the left. Interesting, take note of what happens with the two types of waves. All right, now let's look at the other planet. Play it one last time. All right, step eight. Make sure you read here, here. And um, we shall play the video. one last time. All right, make sure you replay this video as you need.